Hello and welcome to a third session of uh, Know Our Prophet. Uh, I'm Dad Radish and I am your vegetable father. Um, okay, it's been a little while. Um, holidays came, um, blew through like a like a storm, and um, yeah. So, um, so yeah, we're back. Uh, we made a couple changes. We um, thanks to ChillHop.com for providing music for the stream. Um, Lo-fi beats to travel the wasteland to is uh, what we're up to here. So, uh, cool. Um, okay, so as of the last session, we made it out here to pit nine. Um, this is where we're um, <clears throat> we uh, we beat a boss, and now we're kind of uh, we we have a chance to heal up, buy some things. Uh, have, grab some new followers, have some story events, so um, I was feeling a little run down at the end of the, the last stream and figured out figured I would um, put in the energy here. Okay, so let's um, give it a look. Um, I'm worried about how many people are um, uh, injured in our party. In fact, is there a quick count of this? Uh, I feel like I'm looking for... Okay, so there's this wound icon here. I'm looking for a sort of like a quick counter that wound icon somewhere, but not finding it. Um, anyway. So let's see. What makes sense to do? Uh, let's check the market first and let's sell anything um, that automatically should be sold. This is just a trade good. Um... 45 batteries. Is there anything that's kind of... Sh well, this is exactly 45. Let's just see what's happening here. Um, a blast suit. Uh, when a follower strength six or more joins your side, deal one damage to all enemy followers. It's pretty cool, but it doesn't it's not, it doesn't synergize with anything I'm doing. I don't think I have like a lot of... I don't know if I have anybody with um, six or greater strength. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is let's do a food count. Um, so it takes about 10 food to make it to, to the next node. So if we're going to go to this trading post, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's automatically 100 food, so we can, we can make it. I don't know that we need to buy any food here. We might actually find some food along the way, um, or there might be another, another thing. So let's go through and do all the healing, um, just because that's kind of a, a basic way to make sure we keep continuing to be able to play the game. Let's see where we are. We stand with food after that. So I'll take a couple of leader heals and I think the rest can go to followers. So four wounds, four wounds, and then four wounds. Perfect. Cool. Um, all right, now I think we'll go do some of these um, these uh, events. Let's, let's check it out and see what's going on. This gigantic construction, like a metal crab that feasted on the land, was the Crane, the political center of Pit 9, the home of the Central Committee and guarded by the Mines military forces, the Fist. Midway up the structure, we could see what used to be the control center and what was now the committee's chambers. Hmm. Sure, that's a pr I, I don't see any problem. We approach this well-maintained and fortified compound, watched by suspicious eyes. Heavy stone wall topped with barbed wire restricted access to the crane to a single checkpoint. A soldier built like a brutta and missing a front tooth stopped us. Okay. Mm, so we have someone who can speak to the guards. Nux. Um, someone in our caravan. So let's... let's. Uh, I think the yellow things are usually like... <clears throat> this is a member of your party. He's going to do something cool. Let's give it a go. You want in? Well, we may have something for you, the guard said, leading us to a lower part of the crane. There we were brought to see an agent of the Union, black tech sleeve covering her right arm and hand. I have a job for you, lucrative stuff. See, we have a problem with some unruly citizens. They seem to have trouble with the idea of the greater good. I want you to go talk some sense into them. Um, sure. A man in simple civilian clothes led us to a remote area of the slopes. Here, in an old warehouse, a group of angry citizens was caught up in a heated discussion. The moment we entered, panic broke out. Some reached for their weapons, others tried to flee. Well, we're in for a battle already. Okay, <laughs> great. Good thing I healed before this. I actually didn't know that these can, like, cause battles. Anyway. Uh, so we're fighting their own... Their own... Military? I, I'm a little confused about what we're... What 
our goal is here. But this should be an easy fight. It's four armor five. I don't know. Famous last words, right? So let's get into it. Okay. Uh, this is good. I can play both these two and then drop the crash tracker on the next, um, the blessed one. You can see by the icon, I dealt the um, ending game ending blow in the last game um, and has a, a buff to their attack stat. Um, let's see. I wouldn't mind being able to grow into this, and burst fire is something I'm always looking for. So. Yeah, like we'll be able to get rid of this uh, next turn, which should be good. They cannot move or attack. Okay, um, that's that's good to know. Useful to know. Um, so we have different options for our first our. Um, one drop here. This seems like a good one. Hmm. How did we end up with four already? Oh, I guess because we didn't go first. So we can just drop the crash tracker right away. That might be the right thing to do. Um, yeah, let's do that. Because it gives us pretty overwhelming uh, power the next time, especially if we can get rid of some people with first fire. Um... Yeah, no brainer. Do this. Uh, we do this. And we do this. Yeah. There's no taunt. I think we can win this with eight. Uh, no, six, five, eleven. Yeah, we're not quite being able to win this. But, um, let's see. Two, two can't fight because it's behind this thing. I don't know if they have a plan for getting rid of that. Um, you all friendly is by three, so I think, uh, we could do a bit of board control here, but we could also just. Uh, Four. If I drop the taunt, can they get rid of it? Uh, maybe if they have some shenanigans to get rid of this. So I could also just get rid of this and force them to play some catch up. That's okay. I think that's okay with me. Um, I mean, it might have been better to grab, to save that for something, like a big taunt thing, but... Ah, okay, cool. Alright, we got there. Took a little damage, not too bad. The fight had just ended when the agent appeared again. Excellent work. A few may have gotten away, but nothing to worry about. She said, handing us a bag of batteries as payment. You can go. We'll clean up after you. I don't know how I feel about this event. Um, let's see. Hey, what's go? Uh, uh, Apostles 661. What's up? Um, let's see if I happened... Um, I'm running my chat through IRC, and I think, uh, yeah, you know what, I don't think I requested the extra permission to parse to see who's actually in the chat. Um, so, anyway, um, do you know anything about Noah Profit, or is it, um, is it a new new game to you, or are you super experienced, because I'm, I'm just making my way through it. This might be a second, a second or third playthrough for me, so... Um, let's see, let me go ahead and go to the market. Let's sell these metals. All right, we'll go to the next thing, the gallows. Uh, the gallows were a large entertainment district with a public execution area at its center. As we arrived, a group of young men, obviously not locals, but feral intruders, were being hanged for stealing. They soon dangled in the wind, large signs around their necks that stated their crimes. Um, 
large entertainment district with a public execution area in the center. It's very, uh, quite morbid. It's the world we're living in. Okay, let's see. Talk to the locals or hire help. Um, I'm feeling flush with batteries. Let's hire help and see what's up. Uh, a city as big and busy as Pit 9 was sure to attract some muscle, so we went out to look around. We found a mercenary with a grim band of guards fire, drinking rowdily in a pub. So, okay, so with our altruist um, orientation here, we can uh, just do this. So, let's give it a shot. With a grunt, the mercenary motioned for us to sit. We shared some of our stories over drinks, and eventually the scarred veteran, Rico, warmed up to us. He told us how he used to believe in the Union and its teachings. He had come here hoping to find a good place to settle in, but instead he was hired only to maintain order and deal out harsh punishment. Me and my crew, we've been keeping our eyes open for something new. He looked around and continued. He even talked to a few of those revolution folks. Hmm. Alright, so a cheaper cost to hire, we can encourage him to resist. So, let's do this. We assured him that fighting for those who can't fight for themselves was a noble cause. He was clearly inspired, and we spent the rest of the evening discussing justice and fairness. And yeah, I don't, I do not mind this event actually. Um, kind of fun. All right, I'll take it. Uh, the slopes. We moved on from our camp to the main living quarters on the slopes, a gigantic motley of all housing constructions imaginable. Despite the chaotic appearance, life seems to have some sort of order here. Okay. Um, sell some of food. How do I feel about that? We have... It feels like a bit of a surplus, so... Oh, let's recruit followers. A few of us went to the places where citizens congregated. Tea houses, plazas, and the water dispensary. Uh, preach salvation requires five... Seven believer. We can't only have three believer or intention. Uh, so convince them. While many feared the Union, they were reluctant to lose the civility it had brought them. A few of the poor and downtrodden, however, were open to our words. They gathered their belongings and joined our caravan. So, there's... Ooh, alright, a legendary. Scion Emissary. At the end of your turn, pay one energy or lose this... Or this follower loses two life points. A 6-3... Oh, a 2-drop 6-3. Yeah, alright. Man, I'll take it. <laughs> Scion Oracle. Oracle uh, Revenge. Gain one energy salt. That is pretty cool. Uh, and this too. When another follower joins your side, that follower gains. Uh, plus one, plus zero. Um, I am into this art. Uh, cool. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a bit of a pause to um, uh, run the commands that give me <laughs> the ability to use in chat. So um, I'm going to be leaned over here for a second running this. Uh, 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 I have to remember the command. That's no fun. into it. So sorry for the delay there. Okay. Alright, what else we... Okay, uh, okay, great. Well, happy to have done that. And I think we did this in the right order, um, doing uh, these events before doing the market, because we've gained some people might not actually even feel like buying anything. Down the center of the pit, there were several massive holes, each swarming with workers. These caverns led to the underground mining areas called the Works. There were a few checkpoints, but it was chaotic enough that we could easily sneak past. Ooh, there's a risky thing. Or we could ask for work. Well, how often are we going to have a booba? Right? All right, sneak in. Trying to casually blend into the chaotic mass of mining workers turning up to their shifts, we simply walked past the guards. We hurried down into the gigantic net network of mine shafts and corridors. We quickly made for one of the less busy tunnels to get away from the overseers. Okay, there's something missing here, though. Like, why did we decide... I mean, we're exploring an area, but why did we decide to just, like, barge in <laughs> to a mine shaft? I don't know, anyway. Um, our small band veered away from the main working areas to look for some easy scavenging in one of the side tunnels. Okay, so we're, sca we're scavenging. So we found a small stash with some unused mining gear. There were still a few useful parts and batteries to scavenge. Then we snuck past the guards once again, but since we recovered in the mine's dust like everyone else, no one noticed. Cool, that's a lot of batteries. 22. That's, I'll take it. 
Okay, so back to the market now. I think we're not running it, or we're running a weapon, a weapon, but no uh, cargo items. So that's something to look out for. Um, there's this blast suit that I think doesn't really do anything that we want. Com system. Make sure your team can hear you. When a friendly follower with costs two or less attacks, push it. Oh, this is interesting. So I guess like the point of this is that something in the front can, uh, after they attack, they'll get moved to the back, which means that you can start to sequence people. Um, that's super interesting. Uh, I think that changes the way the game plays a lot, and I don't even know if I'm like if I'm ready to take advantage of of the the mental what that does to what you're able to do. There's a cheaper version of it. Uh, I'll take the cheaper version. <laughs> I'll take the 29 battery version, if at all. Okay. Uh, machinist robes. Pain is wisdom. When your leader takes damage, draw a leader card and reduces cost by one. If you took four or more, okay. Mm. I like this one a lot. It's not It's not as transformative um, to like how you play the game, so I'm less likely to, I think, just kind of fail with it. Um, and... Uh, yeah, once you start taking damage, I think there's a good you're you're gonna want to and leader cards are kind of the thing that's a little bit expensive, right? So, okay, we'll do it. Uh, all right, I do think we need um, a hope sink. So we said it was about ten, so it'll be fifty hope. So we actually can't make it on the amount of hope we have. So. Um, I do like, or Combine is a good one, and uh, the same, Healing Warmth is also good, and, um, and just like that. Money is quite hard to come by here. Improvise Shield, Protect, mm, I don't know. Yeah, this is just so much better. So the Scorch Iron has Tempered Strength, so you uh, you can target a follower to gain plus two, plus one, and that's just like often the difference between like a whole other round of the game or just getting enough damage to get in. So, um, so yeah, I think that means we can sell that shield. So let's just do it. Let's not hang around. It's only six batteries. Anyway, mm, let's just see if there's anything that really. So one thing about the game is that I don't have like a, a big concept for this deck. Um, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what it's what exactly it's doing. If it's doing anything better or worse. Um, let's just take a, a peek at it. Um, we're just trying to run like a like a nice kind of low curve with um, some game closers, right? So, but there isn't a lot of synergy. Um, this card is over. Costed, and I don't think is um, one five for a four drop. Uh, you know, I'm gonna replace it with a snapper. I like the snapper a lot better. Um, it started out as kind of like a defensive oriented deck. There were a couple warrior monks that we've lost. Um, we don't have any like huge beef. I kind of feel like this card might end a might kind of like end a lot of games early, so I might just drop it in there. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, let's let's uh, scatter as a three two. This is a three three, like uh, strictly better. So. What is Stoic? Mm, I need to look that up. I don't know what Stoic is, what it does here. All right, well, um, just be as it may <laughs> that we don't, don't really, we're just kind of getting value. Um, it might be the name of the game for the deck. We don't really have any specific synergies happening. Um, I might be able to look at some, I like the Union, um, which is, you can see the, um, there's a gear with um, crossed, uh, uh, cross tools in it. A 
If this unit is not a token, gain three batteries. When the unit is destroyed. It's interesting. Taunt. Um, Fury, once it's played, gain life equal to the number of enemy followers. Uh, that's kind of cool. Um, overwhelming Fury. Uh, let's see. that person come in all right I'm gonna take another break here to um, <laughs> to run a couple more commands <laughs> so uh, please sit tight uh-huh so yeah the idea is to one day bring in um, a chat bot that would be I think that would be the, the cool thing to do um, so we'll get there. I also, it's a little easier to run chat from here. Um, even though I have to configure these um, special commands to run in the beginning, or else um, Twitch runs like a modified version of IRC. So um, if you use a regular IRC client, there are things you can't. Okay, great. We'll see if that works. Um, bit rate's been fine, and uh, yeah, okay. Cool. Clean. Uh, we'll do this another way. Sorry. Thanks for bearing with me through the pause. Let's see, 27 batteries is not a lot. This is pretty cool. By the time I have a five drop, do I need this? I actually don't know if, if a four or five kind of does enough at five. This is pretty cool. Okay, so this is like this um, um, beast character. Um, because if if it's your only follower gain plus three plus three, like one of the things that can happen by six by by the time you bring out a six drop is you've traded a whole lot. Like that's been your game. So I think um I want to give this card a card a try. Um and let's see where do I locate it in the um uh, Do I just have room to just put it in there as a six? Um, as a matter of fact, oh, here's. So let's put it in there and kind of make a guess at what we want to take out. I actually don't know if this kind of has the same mechanics as other, where you don't want to have a super bloated deck. Um, but if the curve is all right, I you you kind of maybe want want it because you start taking damage after your convoy deck runs out. So. Maybe it kind of makes sense to um Yeah, let's grab a couple more four threes and fours. I think that'll I think we'll be we'll, we'll do fine with that. So you can attack even just not in front line position. All neighbor followers gain plus one plus one. I think that's an easy thing to take advantage of. So we want a three here. Pawn at three, I think, is not a bad, a bad move. All right, so let's see how we do here. I don't, I don't know if we're like running a little too lean. Um, okay, I think we're we're ready to go here. Ah, you know, I didn't say four is the level up. You know, what? Well, we're just gonna do it because these have tended to be good. So, all right, here we go. Three cards. Pick a card to learn. All right, chat. Um, I don't really have a good read on how many people are in chat right now, but all right, chat, um, hit me with your your card. I'm gonna give you a minute um, to tell me um, what what I should take here. Uh -huh. 
All right. Um, so headshot at five deals seven damage to a target. Two. All your falls are strength three or less. Gain plus two plus. Oh, I don't think I have that many low um, strength followers. They're all kind of in the middle. So that one. And then aim shot for three is deal three damage to a target. Well, this is almost always exactly what you're doing with the turn, right? But it is it is pretty strong removal. Like, there's no... I only have... Well, I have one card that deals... That will, like, take care of a full construct. And this is basically that, but one less. So... All right, I think this is a powerful effect. Um, useful to get. Ah, and now we learn that we can hold two weapons. So <laughs> that shield might have been great. Um, to have. Um, should have done that first. Okay, I have a new order pattern for what to do when we have like a big convoy moment like that. Alright, so that's why I didn't want to do that at the end of the last session, because it took a long time to do it well. Um, Alright. Will we want... I don't think we're even going to want to use the trading post here, so let's just go into maps here. The Outriders reported loud animal noises not far off the track. We took an armed group out there finding a large predator caught in a pit. Its hind leg was impaled by stakes, apparently in a trap set by some local hunters. Let Lagan heal it. Uh, yeah, 100%. Lagan, with the help of some others, slowly earned the animal's trust by feeding it. Then they freed it and treated its leg. The animal made pitiful sounds. When they were done, we had made a new friend. Plus two altruists, altruists and a trat Chatridge matri matriarch. Chatridge. Chatridge. Mm. Uh, Fury, all of the friendly beasts gain play. Okay, that's a beast synergy card. Don't have a ton of beasts. I'll take it nonetheless. We stumbled across a small gang of the Raj Guard, who immediately brandished their weapons. One of them whistled as they admired the convoy and cocked their gun. We're taking over this convoy. Everything inside of it, including your lives, now belong to the Divine Raj. They smiled at the good fortune. Surrender or face death. Um, I'll show you some good fortune. Alright, lightning strike raids and solid armor make for a frightening conversation. Um, okay, I don't really think... I'm not really in a place where I'll make a lot of modifications for a fight. It doesn't... I just or don't know the game that well enough. Um, but let's see. So this is a strictly better bolster, and I think I'm going to uh, see if we can pitch this for something else. Um, this is a fun 2 drop that I wanted to try. I kind of want something that I know will protect it well. This is a two drop will actually protect it pretty well. I think it looks like this, this. Well, I don't know, let's. Okay, okay. So you just target, but wow, these are all pretty good two drops. Um. This, and we'll do this. What was that effect? Uh, I think, or they must have had something to start the game that I missed. Okay. So it's one of those times where you just go for it. Um, they can kill this thing so fast, and like that's a, that's a that is a reason to. Oh, you know what? Oh no, okay, that wouldn't have been game. So that is good because I would feel a little super silly. Okay, that's that's and gonna end up being just trade fodder probably, but. We're going to do this, and that way it forces a trade here. And they'll have to drop some taunt, I think, to, to stop this from happening. Oh, not necessarily. Well, hold on, let's see. Three, four, five. All right. Two. Made it. wounds. Oh, right. Okay. So here, ongoing game, uh, this is how many battles end. Uh, it is basically the uh, Final Fantasy victory theme of this game. So to think of a new way to, to say it, a novel way to say it. Um, all right. 
the dead bodies of our enemies littered the area. Okay, that was a little bit new, I think. We arrived at the shores of a scenic lake with crystal clear waters. The lush forest surrounding it seemed like a good opportunity to forage. Okay. Let Manyu lead the foraging. Manyu, let's do it. One of the children discovered a gigantic field of even berries. Um, uh, so close to making a joke about odd berries, but... Uh, okay, that was the joke. Uh, we spent hours harvesting small nourishing fruits, adding a substantial amount to our supplies. Whoa, 40 food, and that's a lot. Man, okay. Our convoy approached a fortified structure. Behind a rough barricade that consisted of rubble, wire, and wooden stakes, smoke rose from a handful of buildings. The gate to the settlement was closed, and guards were watching us from towers. Um, well, here's the sleep chop's leave, approach, investigate? Investigate is a weird option here. Let's take the weird option. We and our scouts fan out around the fort to avoid an ambush. They reported back the settlement was well protected, but otherwise everything seemed normal. Uh, let's approach. The, the worst that could happen is we have a fight, right? Probably. We carefully inch our wagons closer to the fort, trying to maintain a peaceful impression. The heavily armed guards stepped up and asked us to state our identity and purpose. So, we can explain ourselves, we can ask for shelter, um, taking advantage of our altruist, um, uh, what is this called? Alignment is what I'm calling it. Okay. After some commotion behind the scenes, we were allowed to enter the settlement. A commander wielding a plasma rifle greeted us. Judging from her posture and attitude, she seemed to be a trained soldier. I Almost certain we had um, this event on a prior, at a, at a prior place. Huh, so we can recruit the commander, or we can set up camp for or trade for food. Don't even have enough to trade for food, but we have a lot of food, so let's see what this is like. We tried to talk the commander into joining us. Finally, she agreed, but only in exchange for a significant amount of food for the settlement. Sure, let's do it. She got the food to her people and then joined us. We have a legendary zealot, the head dreamer. When a card is scrapped, deal two damage to a random target. Oh, yeah. Man. So I don't think I got to this point in my last game where I was like picking up uh, picking up legendaries like this, so... This has a roll. That has a roll. That has a roll. This might be the thing that doesn't that like doesn't have a roll. Four three, a three three, I see. Um, a three four. Okay, we'll take out the shepherd and put it in dreamer. Um, we know this is gonna be a big fight. Is there anything we should do? We know we're gonna need to distribute hope eventually, I think. Or I anticipate that. So we might as well do it here and gain the benefit of the bonus. So obstacle card, calm mind. Con company, draw a convoy card. That's a pretty good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay, so what that means is that here... What seemed like a peaceful and quiet evening was interrupted by shouts and gunfire coming from the direction of our first wagon. We grabbed our weapons and prepared to confront the attackers. Alright, this is the Rajgard Gladiator, a level 5 elite, uh, 12 health. Being born into battle makes the Raj Gladiators a quick and aggressive force. Alright, do we want to swap out some of the wounded people? See, the thing is, at this point, we have a lot, so... We can. They were both 1-drops. Oh no, they became 1-drops, they were 2-drops, and when they're wounded, they become a little cheaper to play. So we can bring back the gladiator and uh, the scout. As, I don't know. I think that's totally fine. I'm not. All right. Running a little heavy here. This might give me a chance to try out the scion emissary. So three. Oh, I go first. So. All right. We'll we'll do it. We'll go with this um, this kind of experiment here. Ah, that um, helped us out a little bit. Uh, 
uh, and real quick, what is this? Religious materials. Revenge. Uh, the attacker's convoy gains believer, believer points. Okay. Alright, let's put them in front. We all want to save my friend. That's the first time I've seen that feature, so cool. Uh, it's a taunt, and it does three, so... <laughs> okay. Destroy all followers with strength three or less. Uh, yeah. And it leaves us with one to uh, pay for this. So I will take it. I wonder if they didn't have enough to pay something, because that seems strange. Alright, can we win it? So we can deal damage here, then that'll take two damage uh, for can't quite yet. Um, draw a leader card. Wait, seven damage to target. Can we just use yeah. that? That's why that card. I mean, I'm glad we picked that card. I was only thinking of targeting regular units, which is um, strange. Okay, let's see. Water, plant fibers. Or runner. If this unit is destroyed by a follower, that follower is stunned. I like it. And all friendly followers gain uh, plus one, plus one on entry. That's another good one. I might wait till we can get him unwounded, but. The dead bodies of our enemies littered the area. Okay. Train goods. Oh, this is interesting. I haven't seen this yet either, where different node paths open up. Um, opportunity to heal has an active market. I think it's not worth the detour, totally honest. So. We came upon an abandoned vehicle. It looked like someone had left it in some valuable parts behind not too long ago. All right. We came into a strange new landscape which oddly lacked any vegetation. The ground was uncomfortably hot, and the air reeked of rotten eggs. Two shabby-looking fellows with gas masks, weathered gray ponchos, and spears waited for us in the middle of the road. They warned us of the treacherous trail ahead and offered their services as guides. Oh, I'd really like to hire them here. I think we did it in a previous... Uh, we had this event in a previous run. The further we came, the more dangerous the route became. We almost lost the whole wagon, the people in it, when the ground next to the road collapsed. Today we had been lucky, but in hindsight it had been folly to reject the guides. Oh, that's interesting. The lone robed woman who had wandered into our camp in the pale moonlight closed her eyes and shook her head. You are not of the gods. You are John Dai, she sneered at us, her fish clenched. John Dai. She repeated the word louder and louder, screaming her judgment across the valley. Mere moments later, the Shiramist warriors attacked from every side. That paints a cool little picture. Um, level 6 enemy, so 3 armor, 10 health. This is a little beefier than we've, uh, than we've had before. What do these symbols mean again? What is happening here? Oh, I have a level up available. Let's... Wait, I do? No. Mm -hmm. I think I might, yeah. I have a focus, so I can select a card, a leader card to get rid of. have a little bit more of a focused um, leader card here, so... Or leader deck. Oh, it's the bolster. That's what we get rid of. Because we have Relentless, which is kind of a stronger version of it. All right, let's, ooh, there's a lot of obstacles on my side. Not a fan. Okay. Hmm. I want this as my four drop. Okay, this will serve as well, I think. I only have like two attacking positions. Oh, man. What a huge turn. Um, man. Well. Uh, yeah, I think we play this. Yeah, this is a bunch of annoying stuff. 
We don't really want this thing when they take two damage on entry. That's pretty bad for us. Um, yeah. Taking a damage. Relentless might help here. Um, hmm. Okay, first I'm gonna move here. We're gonna attack one of these things and get through an obstacle. And then, uh, let's see. This helps. Two drop won't die right away. Um, and in the interest of using our mana, let's just go ahead and do this. Um, Give all friendly flowers plus one plus oh, well, that's that. Um, another spike trap. I'll trade there. Easy, happy trade for them. Okay, well now do I merciless? What is, um, what is the deal here? So I can do a two, I can do two, wait, where? I can do two to open this up. I can deal one there. Um, and then I have to attack here. Um, and that leaves me, the two and the one, that leaves me with, uh, oops. Um. Oh, uh, 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 some people in the chat, hello. Thanks for joining me. Um, okay, what else are we doing here? Leave me with three, and then I can drop the, uh, probably this. Okay, that's what we're doing, so... Break this. Uh, huh? Ah, it's shielded. Mm. Okay. What are the, so does that change any of what I want to do here? No, because I can only attack the top one. So let's do that. So I feel like we have to do that. And... what? This feels silly. It trades for the spike trap. I mean, their neck. Wait, they only have one um, uh, card here to play in their next turn. Um, hmm. Any suggestions from chat about what you do here? <laughs> um, this will trade. Effect triggers, it'll go away. I'm gonna hold on to this because if they end up trading, then I'll be able to do a lot with this. I can put this down just to eat the spike trap um, effect. That might be fine. Alright. I'm gonna put him here. It'll spawn a token. So we can use the token to clear something. Um, yeah. I don't mind this. Tour says what? Okay. So Merciless is good here. Um, it kills these. I don't, how do I feel about that? No, two, and then I get to drop my Crash Jacker. I think I just have to do it. has been pretty rough so far. I hope they do mostly frontline deployments. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got some good plays here. So let's do that. We'll do this and drop the dreamer back here. Speak to me, dreamer. My mind is open. I like the legendary little stingers the legendaries have. Doesn't even trade, but I think I can win. So, six. Steal one damage. We did it. All right. Three wounds, more than I'd like to take, but um, yeah, one of the harder fights so far. 
Or maybe not necessarily harder, but one with the most, like, ambiguity. Like, it wasn't a totally clear line. Uh, okay. On word. All right. How am I going to say this one? The dead bodies of our enemies litter the area. The game is... I see that all the time. So, so I have to figure out how to, uh, <laughs> how to say this thing. Okay. Um, let's inspect the... Oh wait, market, market. Let's sell these trade goods because I have no batteries. Batteries being the uh, universal currency in this wasteland. All right. Um, do they have anything we wanted to buy? An assault rifle. Target follower fights the first target in the opposing, opposing row, including the enemy leader. That is pretty cool. Thirty. I can get there. Would it be prudent, though, knowing that we need some, um, that we probably need some hope to be able to get through this? Uh, well, we have a lot of these. Okay, so we could sell something. Uh, we'll sell. Sell this, buy the assault rifle, then we will distribute uh, fine fabrics into the thing. What else can we do here? Um, all right, I think we're good to go. Ah, food. Let's do it. Good chance to fight because we'll trade ten. We'll trade twenty, getting there and getting back, and I think we'll probably earn more. Um, okay, and I'm okay with trade or with our um, hope providing goods. So, huddled around a f small fire with Nadia and the stars above us, we kept watch at the front of the convoy. Slowly, the stars started blinking, like the many tiny lights within the crypt, and I knew I wasn't seeing the sky anymore, but rather one of the images the machine spirit had sent me. I felt like I was deep underground, hidden and guarded, safe in an infinite forest of black glass. That is a pretty neat event. I'm into that. Hello, Thicker. Welcome to the chat. I knew I held. Uh, uh, they knew that I held the key to the secret. Only a technopath could store this knowledge in their mind. Only an operator could unlock the gate. And among those lucky few, I was uh, the only one with the knowledge. As the image started to fade, I noticed a faint blue glow emanating from my core, and Nadi stared at me. The afterimage is reflecting in his eyes. What did you see? Speak about the vision or meditate quietly at the cost of two health. Um, that's this is confusing. Why would I not? It's like don't talk to him but meditate. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I'm just curious about why. What? Not wanting to let go of the image, I raised a hand for silence and meditated on the scene I'd seen, diving deeper into the data crammed into my head. It was like drowning in sand, too many different images and recordings to make sense of. But I noticed one fact emerging. The exalted lineage of frequency operators had been created by mankind to bond with and speak to the most intelligent machines. Plus two scholars, okay. Uh, plus two to the scholar alignment, um, which will unlock certain options and events. So cool. A little off the road, we spotted a creek with clear water and bordered, uh, bordered by lush fields with berries. We took as much as we could carry. So after this, we're only going to net seven seven extra um, food, so um, not great, but... The tail of my vision by the fireside had spread in the convoy. I found myself relaxing in the shade, resting alongside the others when the questions came. Are all operators among the exalted like you? Hmm. Technopathy is human-made, not holy, and sensing the frequencies is divine power. Hmm. What do I feel like saying here? So, this is, this is probably a... Um, what, fra what faction is this? A scholar thing to say, and this is a, a believer thing to say. So I'll lean into scholar. We can be altruists first, and then sort of scholars next, that's my guess. The ability to sense and manipulate the pulse of machines is not a sign of divinity. It is merely a skill, like firing a rifle or weaving a basket. It makes those of us who master it powerful, but not righteous. All right. Move on. Okay, we can leave the camp. We'll go to the... Machinist lab. Good rewards, but well defended. So this is 
often when I want to drop a wait have I already I've already added drop to fine fabrics uh, let's drop a T2 yeah. still good A large fortress blocked our path. This was a sturdy structure constructed out of ochre mud bricks. Its heavy scrap metal gate uh, cut off the road. Approach the fortress openly. Yeah, this is our, our move. A warning shot cracked and sent up a spray of dirt at our feet. An unseen voice called out from the ramparts. This land is not open to you. Turn around and leave now. We saw movements of a few armed bodies up on the walls. Uh, so appeal and let you pass. We have the really high ultra score, so let's do it. Let's use it. The defenders were under strict orders to let no one pass, especially not armed groups like ours, but our words touched their hearts. They opened the gate and let us pass through unharmed. Cool, I appreciate it. No harm intended. Um, a blissful afternoon was interrupted by the shrill warning whistle of an outrider. Directly next to the road were the glistening bodies of a ruster swarm. They sat prone on the rocky ground, aligned in a strict rectangular pattern. I don't know what uh, rusters are, so... It was unclear if they were permanently inactive or if they could wake up and attack us at any moment. Uh, ooh, okay. We can send Pragan to scavenge them. I wonder if that, like... The chance is unlikely, and I wonder if something like that might, like, produce a wound or something. So let's just do it. Oh, produce uh, damage for the Prophet. The machines looked non-responsive, so he fetched some tools from the wagons to take them apart. The moment Pragan touched one of the Grey Drones, it let out an ear-piercing signal. A second later, the machines had risen from the ground and started attacking us. Ah, no, so it, okay, so it did, well, it didn't wound the guy who went there, it wounded some other people. <laughs> so, okay. Um, a level 6 enemy. Uh, welcome back, Thicker and Abbott Costello. I'm going to take a minute to log into the chat on web, just in case the IRC client's not showing me chat. Anyway, um, pardon me for a second. We're just going to stick this. Where are we going to stick this? There. Mm, okay. Uh, cool. <clears throat> Level 6. 2 armor, 10 health. No special things. Enemy goes first. That may that matters a little bit. Who's wounded in our group? It was a ranger. Um, the slave gladiator with first strike. Uh, this wild hand. Uh, the scavenger savant. I am not too worried about this set. Is there another five drop who might replace this five five or four six? Um, uh, fine, I'll trade for the five five or the four six rather four six taunt. Um, okay. Um, how do I feel about this? Uh, this is pretty good. So, Burst Fire um, does a whole column's worth of damage. That's always pretty welcome. And this is um, just um, strict one-to-one uh, -one removal. With this, it'd be nice if we could have a little bit more of an aggressive start. Three, four. I think I'm going to trade this out. All right. Oh, yeah, they're going to start. I had forgotten. So it can attack even if it's not in a frontline position. It's a good thing we get cards like this often. Um, so do that. Um, this trader will survive, and all convoy cards will gain plus one, plus one. Uh, but I think it'd be better to use all of the, all the energy. I'm still okay with this. Barrier plus two. Not a fan of that. All right. Um, so let's see. Do we do this? I mean, okay. First, let's see if we can trade this out for something. Two, leaving us with three. Um, Put the taunt down. 
Man, where's that one damage to everything card? Um, static charge. Got two of them. Would be nice to pull. Um, okay. Shouldn't dally here too much. How many cards does this trade for? Both. Does this have... Mm, this one can't attack because it's behind this thing. So really I'm just worried about this. Um... What do I do with that extra? I, mean, uh, I have five energy. This only uses four. So these just trade. This would be. This would survive. Um, let's do that. Um, one thing that's different about this game is, um, you know, you can lose your units. So there's this bias towards like letting them survive or finding ways for them to survive. So taunt is pulled. Um, what a move! All right. So with six, I can destroy this and still be kind of behind on uh, tempo a little bit. Um, but you know, I don't mind it. Well, it's only a three drop, or it's only three. Okay, so what else can I do? A four and the trader. So we'll do that. Put this here, under the assumption that it'll... Ah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So do we call them, or do we do destroy all fallers with strength three or less? So that takes out three things on their side, two things on my side. Um, I can use all of my things to destroy this, so we can basically clear the board again. Um. It'd be le and start out well with four, so with a crash jacker. Um, okay. Oh wait, we can just make attacks. Maybe we're gonna do that. Hmm. All right, can't uh, attack. Uh, let's see. Want to do the four? What are these going to attack? One of them has to attack the. They do have a lot of. They do have enough stuff. All right, we'll destroy all followers with. Which means I should have played this differently. I should have killed this thing. Um. Four. Both of these will survive it. Um, let's just do this. Let's not be shy about it. Okay, that's what we need to do to win. Improvised drone. Gains taunt. Robust. If you would be killed through damage, you can be moved back one tile to be moved and healed back to one life point instead. Okay. Seems like an occasion to burst fire here. Let's see. Or wait. Uh, no, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Burst fire here. Does the taunt. This. Good two damage. Cool. Too hard so hard to think through that, but this game kind of, like, inspires it. Alright. Here we go again. This is the game's version of... Da -da 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 so, let's see. The dead bodies of our enemies littered the area. Uh, that was my favorite one. Right, the next milestone. We gotta fight King Lizard. So, let's, um, get psyched up for it a little bit. Um, Take a drink. All right. Um, make sure I put my. Uh, yep. All right. Cool. Let's do it. Our outrider spotted smoke in the distance. We arrived at a scene of carnage. 
A group of traders and their wagons had been attacked by hill tribe raiders, but managed to fend them off, albeit with heavy losses. They were in the middle of constructing a large pyre for at least a dozen bodies. So you can help, it costs some stuff. Um, not like a critical threshold, because the two will be a multiple of 10. Um, this will also keep us above 30, so we're okay. We start for a while and help them. Much of their food supplies had been destroyed with one of their wagons, and so we gave them some of ours. In return, they traded us a decent piece of gear that had no owner anymore. It was in gas bomb. At the start of combat, both leaders lose an energy cell. What? <laughs> mm. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but this card is cool, so yeah, let's go ahead with that. A deep gurgle, a painful snap. With a spray of water, a giant armored lizard emerged from one of the rice paddies surrounding the city, a farmer's arm clutched in its maw. Its lazy eyes slowly turned to us and it seemed to ponder us. It scratched its head for a second, eyes closed, almost disinterested. Then it opened them again, dropped the bloody limb, and ambled over to us. It looked like it had made up his mind and decided we were a morsel worth the trouble. Ooh, King Lizard. You're making a mistake. Alright, uh, it's level 6 boss. Um, let's see what this does. Highly Venomous. After you take damage from a follower, if you have no armor, destroy that follower. Uh, okay, right. A meeting after King Lizard takes damage from a follower, if uh, there's no armor, destroy that follower. Once per turn with four uses. Man, alright, so we're gonna get messed up. <laughs> And I kind of think it means we want to lower the curve and have some draw, because some things are just gonna just gonna get killed, right? Um, this is tough. There's like a mathematical, like an actual mathematical limit, right? Like if you don't if you don't have enough fodder to just throw away and be uh, murdered by the poison, you actually won't. You might not actually be able to beat the beat the boss, so I think we got to pull some of the like low uh, low damage ones. Um, let's see, a three, uh, six, four is okay. A four, five. Uh, that is, I think, not as good as. And I think we need to pack the deck to twenty four. Is I think maybe the other other thing here. Some synergy between these, but I can't. Not in not in this particular thing. Deal one damage to all. So this could be good dealing one damage to all enemy units because we need to keep the the field clear. Are we low on three drops. Fury push the first enemy follower in the opposing row. Uh, yeah, let's take the roaring chain war. Three, three. I mean, we could make up for the threes by putting in more twos. I guess this raider is a. Uh... Okay, we'll go with one more. Is there something in the high end that seems like a good idea? Six, a five. I don't know. Um. All of the friendly beasts. We have a couple here now. Let's see what this can get us. Um, I'd love to make it out of the battle with that one alive, but um, can we run this level up now? Yeah, we might as well. All right, chat. It's been super quiet, but if you have an opinion on what card I should take, let's uh, <laughs> let me know what you think. Um, let's poke my head over. All right, um, energize. Set target follower strength to the highest strength in the battle, ignoring target follower. Um, neat. Relentless as a as a one, I think that's the one to get. These are all well. These are all rares. Um, aim shot. Aim shot is is kind of par. That's like three damage for three energy, at least for leader cards. Um, this rewards. I think. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I think this is good. This is neat. It's nice when leader cards are cheap, also, because it means that um, uh, it means you can actually play them. You can play them with your stuff instead of just sending yourself back. So, 
Um, right. Does this help us? I think this kind of helps us get to where we need to go. Um, I'm going first, so one, two. Um, and this actually helps us in the beginning. Okay. Okay. Luxury cash, we gain a luxury item, so that's worth um, going for. So, yeah, let's do this. Cool, that's a good position for this thing. Darun Climber, a beast floppy. Make it a 3 3. Another one. Another one. Alright. Jesus Christ. Alright, um, let's see. Um, do I do this before or after? Two. I won't be able to play anything after this. Um, this will be my turn. How do I feel about that? per turn. That's useful. Okay. And then, is this damaged? Uh, yeah, so... Okay. This will help us out. Uh, will this help us? I don't know, I kind of want to trade it out. What else can I get here? Um... I think it's a little early. Let's hold on to it. Obviously the 4 is, is more worth it. This 4 drop, this 3 drop will feel kind of outclassed. Uh, no, I think it's going to be okay. Alright. Spawn Obstacle, O2 with cover. That is a weird card to use. I'm not really sure um, that was in their best interest. Destroys followers damaged by this unit. Okay. So, no, it still deals damage, so it kind of doesn't matter. Alright. Um, one, four, we can drop the taunt. This thing will kill it. Um, but that's... Can I do something different that I like better? No. It's three. No, yet. Uh, not really. Um, okay, now I think I can get rid of this. All right. Three beasts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Four in a column. This is probably the one to do. Uh, or would it be this? Hey, go with him. Uh, nice to see you. Thanks for joining the channel. Um, 
do you play no more profit or is this um is it new or is this a new thing are you investigating this game let's see um yeah so this is two three four five and well it's the same amount of damage but i mean uh i might be able to pull another card i might be able to pull another static charge to deal with all of that um it's a four. Do I have a two? No. So if I play this, I can't play any other cards. Um, uh, play this. Play this. All right. Let's just keep. Uh, but if I'm gonna do that, I might as well like wait for them to play more and control more of the board, maybe, because I'm not gonna die to this much damage. So a little torn here. If I dro uh, anything I drop, it can just get attacked. This is so weird. I, I can't imagine that the game wants me to do nothing here. I mean, okay, I think this is going to be strange, but... I'm going to do this, um, just to put us within range. And actually, with like a quick shot and uh, another card, maybe we just win. Um... Yeah, so let's be a little patient here. Just take the damage, see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we have four maximum leader cards, so. Ah, we're so close to being able to just win. But... Um, so now I'm gonna, uh, yeah, look for something else. Okay. So we're definitely gonna do this. Mm -hmm. All right. No taunt. They can put out um, at least seven damage in the next. So anything I put down is going to trade. Put down these two. At least they're they have to make some choices. That's well, pretty easy choice, but at least it's it trades one to one. Uh, what is this overwhelming? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I got to play it like this. My friend, there is truth in your dreams. Ah, love it. Um, oh, I need to save an energy. Okay. This is an offensive spell. Yeah, I think that's... Well, wait, hold on. Uh, target fall against one, two. Okay, so I can put it here and hopefully... Now they gotta send both, so... Yeah, they get... It's like a tile. All followers in it or neighbor tiles gain plus zero plus two. All right. They don't take... I think I just win here. Yes. Take it. All right. Not too bad. Ten damage, two wounds, um, and lost to um, two followers. Uh, cool. We made it. The dead bodies are enemies. Littered the area. Yay! All right. All right. Let's move on. We made it to Nerukan. We had reached the spaceport. Haphazard clusters of containers, their paint long since worn off and replaced with new markings, surrounded the main hangars and neighboring control towers. Loud cheering and cries from the many market bays filled the air. Here, we could get anything. Food, guns, and slaves. Too happy about slaves part of this, but uh, okay. So, uh, plus 25. Hope. Cool, cool, cool. We made it. Game mode unlock daily challenge. Nice. Um, what does it want us to inspect the convoy really badly? Mm, okay. Alright, I'm going to sell this stuff, and I think I'll, s just like last time, I'm going to save more play for the next session. So, um, thank you for uh, joining. I hope you um, enjoyed the session. Um, play... Uh, uh, Nor Profit is a is a super fun roguelike RPG style game. So um, yeah, hopefully you if you enjoyed it. Hopefully you get into it. Um, 
Take care. Remember, I'm Dad Radish, and I'm your vegetable father.